image generation is everywhere now. And for me, it's an endless source of inspiration. But they're all working the same way. It's either a per use cost or a monthly subscription, which is kind of normal. You have to pay for the data center, for the training, and for the employee. But is all of them like that? Not really. Let me find you an alternative. We are going to use Stable Diffusion for that. But not innovation. We are going to use the web UI one. And like usual, every link will be in the description. There is an official version for it, but us, we are going to use a simplified one with a .x file and an automatic installation of Python. Few things that are good to know is it works offline. You don't need to be connected on the internet to use it. And also the downside is you will need a good computer and I'm not sure it's going to work with AMD graphic card. For the installation, it's fairly simple. You just click here and you wait for the procedure. During the installation, if you have waiting for file to be created staying on the screen, just close the launcher and open it again. Here there is a few options that you want to check. The first one is auto update and xformer. Then if you have a low RAM GPU, check low VRAM. Now that it's installed, let's make it work. There is a lot of options, but we will stay very basic here. If you want more in-depth knowledge of what everything is doing, everything will be in the description. So the prompt field is what you want to generate. Negative prompt is what you don't want. The sampling method, I will put an image on screen just to see, but it's important. This allows you to see the final clear image instead of the noise you see in the first step of creating the image. It's like a denoising process for each step of image creation. Now the question is which one to choose. There is two main differences between all of them. Some are stochastic and some are not. So the stochastic ones are adding noise at every step. It means that instead of being more and more refined toward the result image, you will see randomness until creating the last output. So with simple words, they will not converge to an endpoint. That will be more random. Personally, I use DPM++ SDE and SDE Karas. They are fairly recent, they came out in 2022, more accurate than the predecessor. Consider also UniPC, a new sampler released in 2023 that can achieve high quality images. Let's stay super simple. Try them on your own. Find the one with the artistic result that match your need. I will put in the description advanced graph of image convergence per sampling as well as a test of each one of them. Maybe that can help you to choose. Resolution, you know that? Batch count is the number of images that will be generated. Iris fix is a correction for stable diffusion because it's not good at making IRS images. CFG is the short for classifier free guidance scale. The CFG scale adjusts how much the image looks closer to the prompt or the input image. But in any cases, don't freak out about all this option. You can already try to make prompt, you will have a result and you can adapt in function of your results. So just try. Just with that, you can already have a lot of things and you can even have good results. You just have to do a bit of prompt analysis. If you don't want to learn that, ChatGPT may help you. Why not see that in another video? But there is also a website to get inspired with what other people used to write. I will put you that in the description. But with all that, it's nowhere near what Midjourney can do. By the way, there is a solution. You have to trade Stable Diffusion. There are many ways to find train model for Stable Diffusion. And in the description, I will let you read it post that puts really, really good model for it. But today we are going to focus on the website Civitai. How does it work? 
on Civitai, you can find model for your needs. There is model for everything. You can do anime style images, photorealistic or only to output beautiful Asian woman. It seems like this model were created by men in my age group, but anyway. To summarize what you need to know, there is different type of model. For example, there is LoRa. It means low rank adaptation. It's a training technique for fine tuning stable diffusion models. It offers a good trade off between file size and training power. There is also checkpoint merge. It's super simple. It's like a lot of model that fusion together. It's a, just a global model. But I will put every one of them in documentation in the description, you know it. On CVTI, you can see the prompts that people used for creating their images. So it can help you to find mistake in your prompt or just feeling inspired about what other people did. After downloading your model, the only thing you will have to do is put them in stable diffusion slash diffusion slash web UI model stable diffusion. That's it. When now you are on the web UI interface, just refresh the model. You now have an unrestricted model that can work offline. Do you realize how powerful it is? You can basically do everything. Pornography, deepfake, inspiration, content creation, satire. The choice is yours, but please make